Good morning, comrade subscribers. G'day, g'day. So, um, I'm reshooting this. So, uh, long-term subscribers or regular watchers will know that as a, well, not as a rule, but as a kind of, um, I don't know, what's the word? Um, tradition, maybe? First part we do is pull apart the power supply. Um, which we didn't do on the TV yesterday. We did it on the um, on the actual TV itself. So I pulled it apart last night. Uh, blah, blah yeah. So I'm, I'm trying because I've got the um, I've got the GoPro set up above, above, and I've got the iPhone here with the uh, traditional view. Um, I was going to have it like picture in picture, but I thought I, I found the the GoPro up here sort of thing was a bit distracting. You know, it's got a, the top down thing, so I'm just I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do that. I think probably if I've got a computer here, I think probably that's when I'll switch to the top down view rather than having this angled view here because that would give a better view. Anyway, so I pulled this apart last night and I thought I'd just redo it because, um, well, there's a lot of I was going to basically put them together picture in picture and then just chop out the bits because you know otherwise it'll be too much work to stop this stop that and try and match them up again and restart them and i thought oh, any, whatever blah 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 so i should probably just chop all this out anyway um oh so i got i got one dislike so far it's not a challenge it's just, so i got one dislike on my uh, part one video um come on guys so you know the rule or my simple request. If you dislike something, please tell me what it is. Don't just be a coward, dislike it, and then piss off, you know? You don't like it because it's made by communists, or you don't like it because I am <laughs> i don't have anything, I have no idea about TVs, or you don't like it because the TV didn't work. Tell me why you didn't like it, um, so that I can improve, you know? <sighs> anyway, so I pulled this apart last night, and um, as in my first video, I had a thought. So I've already pulled the, I've already desoldered the the DC output and the AC input because the case uh, is is a bit broken. So I'm going to wash the case up and uh, re-glue it. And I initially thought, because this basically said battery, uh, well, it's uh, battery accumulator. I uh, know uh, charge accumulator. So battery charge or charge battery or something. So I thought that this was the battery unit. But, of course, silly me, I realised as I was pulling it apart, especially because there's no bloody battery in there, that the way it works, I think, is that... Um, see, that has to go over the switch there. Is that you've got your, your, two, you've got your 220 volts... You've got your 220 volts coming in. And then you've got your uh, 12 volts DC coming out, um, which then plugs into the TV. But you also have an extra 12 volt output here that you can use to charge a battery pack. Um, and then you would plug the battery pack into the TV. It's you, You'd still have all this cable lying around, I guess. So it's a bit kind of weird, but I believe so I'll hold this here so you know a proper look. But I believe um, that's the way it works because I, <laughs> I was looking at this last night and I could not. So what the hell? So basically, so it's simply just a step down transformer. We've got um, we've got a bridge rectifier here with our four diodes, and we've got a two thousand. A microfarad smoothing capacitor which is actually 50 volt rated so I don't have a replacement for that I don't think um, and then we've got our fuse here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the two capacitors not today because I don't have a replacement for this fellow um, and then put on an Aussie plug um, when I put the Aussie plug on I've got to make sure that because this is the fused side so I need to make sure that I have this as the active. We don't fuse the neutral, we fuse the active. Um, 
Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so this this here is basically connected to the 12 volt output. So it's yeah, it's another 12 volt output. So that's basically that's basically the power supply. Um, that's the back of it. So it looks to be I would say October 1982 manufacture. Um, that's basically it. So. This is actually going to be a lot quicker than the, <laughs> the original video because I'm not futzing around with it. And take the. I don't really like this. This is really annoying me. This short cable for the fuse. Um, but yeah, we've got our little little holder, for the big fella. So 50 volt, 2000 microfarad. Yeah. So. Of course, as usual, there's no um, no insulator on the on the outside, and I think down here this is a 0.1 microfarad on the fuse on the uh, on the neutral side, I guess. Neutral side going in, um, and the only other passive on here, I think that's a, I assume that's a resistor. Um, not really too early in the morning. What does it say? Looks like an 81. Can't really tell. It's not going to change it anyway. So, yeah, that's basically the power supply. 12 volts, 240 volts or 220 volts in, 12 volts out, plus an additional receptacle for charging a battery pack. Um... So this is the this is the DC. You can see it is keyed, so we don't get positive and negative around the wrong way. I had to make a mark on it just to I know which way it goes back in. And um, yeah, this is the AC cable. Um, I could just reuse it, or I could actually just um, use an Aussie two core cable. I'll probably reuse this one. So that's it. That's just the power supply. Um, yeah, nice and quick. So I'll have another look. So yeah, Mr. Uh, longtime supporter of the channel, Mr. Volkman, mentioned something about one of the PCBs having a chunk. Oh, yes, okay, I didn't even see that last night. Yeah, interesting, a chunk taken out. Um, okay. Oh, yes, okay, so... So this is just a quick look. Yeah, so there's the chunk taken out that Mr. Volkman uh, noticed. So we'll have to have a look to see, but it does look like maybe, it does look like the trace is there. What the fuck was that? I wonder what that was. Hmm. Comparing it on the other side, I can see that there was, I think something here, one of those spring-loaded things to hold it in place there. If we turn it around, we can see that's what we've got on this side here, a little spring-loaded um, thing anyway. So I'll try, try and pull this all, all apart today. But yeah, very, very good pick up there, Mr. Volkman. Didn't even notice that. I'll have to have a look. So it does look like there is a trace does look like there was a trace. Let me just get my poker without a washer on it. It does look like there was a trace going. Yeah. So there's definitely some, some continuity missing there. I'm assuming this is just a ground rail on the outside. So um, hopefully it's grounded here. And But yeah, what are we missing there? Oops, something else fell out. Um, that looks like an LED. <laughs> Maybe. Or a bulb of some sort. Where did that fall out from? I know that there was supposed to be some sort of power lamp. So maybe that was the LED. But yeah, sorry. So looking back here... 
This is what we've got on this side. Oops. Oh, I think, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, very good pickup there, Mr. Volkman. Okay, so there's one. Oh, okay, this might swing out. No, maybe. I don't know. There's one up here, and then there's another one down the bottom here. Anyway, let's see. Let's see. So of um, I'm basically yeah. I'm I'm, off, I'm here only for <laughs> two days, and I've got to go to Melbourne tomorrow for two days. So we'll see how we, how far I get on this. There's a load of other stuff to have looked at as well. But that's um, that was just it. Quick look at the power supply. And just to double check that, um, yeah, I'll have another look at that today. Bye for now.